Hey guys, so today I'm going to be telling you how I styled my aerial wig. Um, as you can see, I literally just filmed my Morrigan makeup tutorial, but I thought, you know, since I was on a roll, I might as well do this now as well. Uh, this isn't a tutorial how to style the rest of the wig, it's just the fringe. Um, as you can see, my wig's quite messy, I haven't really combed it out since I wore it last. Um, it's just a wig I bought on eBay for quite cheap, like a hundred or so rand. Um, so it doesn't really matter what wig you use, this technique will be able to transfer over. So here we go! Okay, so things you'll need. A normal wide tooth comb, it doesn't necessarily have to be a specific wig comb, but as long as it's a wide tooth comb it'll work for wigs. A teasing comb, to obviously to tease the wig so you can get that poofy effect. Some matte clay um, for styling, this is literally just store brand matte clay, it doesn't have to be anything fancy, this works. And then some super strong hairspray, doesn't really matter what brand or what's like, you know, what strength as long as it's super strong. Just so it gives that, that extra little bit of hold. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to comb out your wig's fringe just to kind of make sure it's in the right position. Um, Gather your fringe, kind of separate it from the rest of the wig. Just kind of make sure we don't have any random strands. Okay, then you're going to comb it again, just for good measure. I recommend pinning the wig, but I don't have any hairpins. Okay, then you take your teasing comb and you're going to tease the wig upwards. Do most of the teasing by the base of the wig so that the base kind of holds up the rest of the fringe, if that makes sense. Okay, so once that's done, you can see it's got quite a nice lift now. It's still kind of, it's holding its shape from when I last did this a little bit, but this is more or less what you should get. Okay, then you're going to take your matte clay, and you only, it looks like this, you only need a little bit, like that much maximum. And then you're going to you know, put some on your fingertips. Then you're going to style the shape. I'm not doing this incredibly neatly just because my wig is neat right now. And I'm not at a very good angle for this. kind of the effect you should get. You should be able to fit your fingers underneath the fringe. If you can't, then just, you know, tease it some more and then put some more matte clay in it. Um, so once you've gotten that right, ideally it should be a little bit more poofy, but it's not 
huge issue if it isn't. Just keep styling it until you're happy with it. Then, once you're done, you just take your hairspray and you spray it. And voila! You have an aerial fringe. It's as simple as that. Well, I hope you guys found that helpful and I hope you'll subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.